how to connect Salesforce to Anaton step by step. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to connect Salesforce CRM to Anaton. Now, whether you are automating lead management, synchronizing contacts, or triggering workflow from Salesforce events, this integration opens up a lot of powerful possibilities. In this video, we will cover how to set up your Salesforce credential in Anaton if you are using hosted version and if you are using cloud version and how you can sign up with Salesforce. Once connection is successfully done, you can create or up update records in Salesforce automatically. You can trigger the workflows based on Salesforce activities and you can sync with Salesforce with other tools like Gmail, Slack, Google or more. Here is what you need before we start. First, Salesforce CRM account. And the second is an attend, whether cloud version or hosted version or Docker container. So I am using both of them. Uh, this is my cloud version. And if you go over here, this is my hosted version. So let's get started with cloud version, how you can connect Salesforce with the cloud version. So what you have to do is just open your workflow and search for Salesforce into node search bar. And then you will get to see this kind of icon. Just click on this. And from here, you have to select the action. You have 65 actions. And if you go scroll down a little bit, you will get triggered, 18 triggers. So you have to choose which you want. So I'm using first, I will add action. Then just simply click on this node. Now over here, you can see you have to add a credential, then you have to add account ID and then title. So first, let's connect our account or create our credential. In order to do that, first click on this select credential and click on this create new credential. Now it will open something like this. What you have to do is click on this connect my account or you can go with oath to JWT. So we are going to for the cloud version, it is very easy to connect with or my account so just simply click on on this button and it will take you to this page where you can just allow and give all the access which are necessary so just give all the access and read the access and click on this allow button wait for a few seconds and so as you can see here we have successfully connected our salesforce account with cloud version so let's move to hosted version or a Docker container. So just simply click on this, uh, open your workflow in hosted version and click on this add step. In this example, I will use Salesforce as a triggered. So I will just search the node and select Salesforce as a triggered. So on account created. Now I have already created Salesforce account as you can see here. For this tutorial, I will create new one another. Just simply click on this create new credential and over here you will get auth redirect url and you have to enter the client id and client secret so i will show you how you can get client id and client secret so just copy this first and let's move back to our sales force account so make sure you have created sales force account already so as you can see here when you log in or create an account something will appear in front of you so this is your dashboard this is your home page as you can see here this is your home now in the top right corner you will get to see there is a setting icon just simply click on this setting icon in the setting icon you will get this setup option click on that and it will take you to this page where you have to search for external app just simply remove this and search for external app now as you can see here we have external client app manager just simply click on it and from here as you can see here i have already an app now in order to create new external client app just simply click on this button in the right side click on it and oh yeah you have to enter your client app name then client contact email then contact phone number and then logo image url so the, so this is the optional you have to choose only external client app name contact email so let's give a name 
and then contact email address which is this one and click on this enable auth setting so make sure you have enabled this auth and over here in the app setting uh, you will get call back url you have to enter that url just go back and copy this url and paste into here now you have to select the auth scope first is full access and the second is performance request at any time refresh token offline access just put into select auth scope now oh yeah you have to choose this enable refresh token rot rotation and then you have to click on this create app button you simply click on it and we have successfully created our external client app now we have to find the client id and the client secret how you are find, going to find that just search external client app and choose which app which just we have created and click on this edit setting and scroll down a little bit and click on this oath setting now in the app setting you will get this button which is consumer key and secret just open this and over here you will get send salesforce as a verification code just copy that verification code and paste into here now just entering after the entering verification code you have to click on this verify and we have successfully got our consumer key which is client id the consumer secret which is client secret id just copy this and paste into here into client id section and then copy this consumer secret which is client secret and you will get this connect my account click on it and our credential will save successfully as you can see in the right side we will we get notification and click on this connect my account button now over here you have to enter your username and the password your username will be your email address and then you have to enter your password while which you are created while you are create, creating salesforce account now click on this login into sandbox wait for a few seconds so my password is i guess wrong as you can see here we have successfully connected our anaten with salesforce if you found this video helpful then subscribe to this channel and thank for watching